Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to be going over how to build this beautiful laundry basket out of just some basic scraps that you probably have hanging around your shop. So definitely stay tuned for that. But before you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to be able to get all of our newest videos. In the meantime, let's get to the build. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our long supports down to 18 by two and a half using three quarter wood. And then on the short supports, 13 by two and a half. This is basically a general idea of what they look like when you're done. Now a real important part is to actually cut the wood down so you've got good straight edges. And that's what we're doing right here. And then we're just going to basically split the boards right down the middle both for the long supports and for the short supports. Now we're going to go ahead and change out the blade for a flat top grind or in essence a flat topped blade tip. Uh, this will keep us from having the little bad ears that we can see sometimes when using the ATB blades. And then we're just going to go ahead and create those dados uh, that we're going to be putting the plywood in for the sides later on in the build. And just do one on the side and then one on the front. Just Repeat and repeat and repeat until you're all done. As we're doing right here. It's a pretty fast process. And then it's pocket hole palooza. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and throw some pocket holes in here for the upper and lower supports, or in essence, frames. So that way we can have a good stable top and bottom. Just keep those really well balanced so that way they don't wind up slipping. And there you go. These little clamps come in awfully handy. Then you don't necessarily want to glue the bottom on like I did here. Uh, as that could if you live in a more wet environment that has seasons unlike us it could cause it to crack so just a little word of caution on that part then we're just going to go and real quickly cut down all the squares there's eight of them uh, for the sides this hides the dado lines and then we decided we wanted to be a little fancy here so we went ahead and put a chamfer around on uh, both sides of the squares and then uh, glued them onto the assembly and tack nailed it. And then the side rail is pretty much the same thing. Just gonna glue it into place and then tack nail right down the rail to keep it uh, good and steady. Since it's face frame to face frame, or face side to face side, uh, gluing is generally gonna be pretty strong. And then this is our quarter inch uh, oak plywood, so we're gonna cut those down. All sizes are on the screen there for you. And then just tap it into place. 
I wanted this really tight so that way we didn't have to worry about it like wiggling or shifting so that's the reason why we have this tight it doesn't have to be this tight so feel free to trim it a little bit you can see we just kind of pop the top right on and it's pretty much ready to go and believe it or not the little squares themselves actually hold the top to the bottom and to the rails so you actually don't need any mechanical fasteners here if you don't want them we were just trying to build this in a hurry so we tack nailed it so that way we could move on to the next part Now we decided to fill in our pocket hole screws, uh, holes that we made, so threw a little bit of glue in there, some sawdust, and then just kind of compacted it in there. You don't have to fill them, it's just kind of a nice look that I prefer on there. And then a quick wipe down, and then it's on to finishing. So we started off with some boiled linseed oil. Uh, put that around the whole thing. Gave it a nice little yellow look. Also kind of treats the wood. We let that dry and then started working on the handles. Because, hey, you got to have a way to pick it up, right? I just used a little round nose bit here with uh, two stops to make sure that we had a good, accurate uh, hand width uh, cut out of this. Then we just uh, countersunk the uh, handles and then drilled a little bit further so that way we had a pilot hole to work on uh, when we went to go and put in the screws here in a minute. And that's nice and steady. And this is a little bit of regular Zinser wax shellac. Basically the normal type of clear shellac you see in the store. I hope you enjoyed our build of this beautiful laundry basket that uh, we made for our kids. Um, we hope you make one too. Uh, like I said, it's just made out of some scraps that we had sitting around in the garage and just kind of more or less threw it together. So uh, it didn't take very long. I think we probably spent maybe about a couple of hours on it, not including the drying time stuff, of course. Uh, so not a really hard build by any means. Just a simple uh, table saw, and if you want to be fancy, you can do the router stuff, but ultimately you could probably leave it at squares and that'd be just fine if your uh, kids are old enough not to ding themselves on it. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, it was a really fun project. Um, before you guys go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon for all of our newest videos that we'll be having coming out. And in the meantime, stay safe in the shop.